Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Okay, I'm standing in front of Parliament. Uh, this is actually Westminster. You can sort of see me with all of this. Westminster Palace in London, England. And yesterday I got to get here early and go to the National Prayer Breakfast. It was really pretty cool. Got some pictures I'll try to insert here. But it reminded me of a Beatles song, I guess because I'm an American, we think England, we think Beatles. And, and it was one that was actually featured in the New York Times crossword puzzle last week. The clue was uh, what uh, Beatles song had an exclamation mark in it, four letters, come on, help. Uh, you'll remember the chorus, I'm sure, help, I need somebody, help, not just anybody, help. You know, I need someone, help. And I, I love that chorus because that cry, help, I need somebody, is a true cry. Sorry, it's kind of loud out here. It's a true cry uh, of all of us at times in life. You know, we all cry out, I need somebody. But when we cry that cry, it's not just anybody we need uh, because not just anybody is able to come to our distress. It reminds me of Psalm 120. Psalm 120 may be the first uh, help song uh, that, that uh, the New York Times could have asked about. Psalm 120 says, in my distress, I cried out to God, uh, you know, who would deliver me? I mean, who, who better to cry to in our distress? When we need help, there's one who's able to help above all others. So this cry of help, I need somebody, not just anybody, because whoever I cry out to for help needs to be able to give help. And that's the beauty of God. God is able to help us, whatever we have going through uh, our lives. You may have a time of emotional trouble. God is emotional help. You may have times of financial difficulty. God is financial help. You say, well, how, where's the money coming from? You commit your resources to God and you look for godly ways to use your money. You look for godly uh, principles to live by and you'll find help there. Uh, you say, well, well, where else does God help? God helps in every difficulty of life. I can't think of a time if you've got fear in your life, God is the answer to your fear. If you've got uh, 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 struggles in your life, God gives you answers to your struggles. If you're having difficulty with other people, God has the answer to healing relationships. God has all of the help you need, and it's not just God. God's not one of many. You say, now wait a minute, Mark. Um, uh, I've been to banks for help, or I've been to, to uh, counselors for help. Absolutely. God works through all sorts of different means. God's able to work through children. God's able to work through adults. God's able to work through friends. God's able to work through enemies. God's able to work through professionals. Don't ignore all the different ways that God can help you, but recognize that your help is ultimately coming from God. So the next time you hear the Beatles song, Help, I Need Somebody, or the next time you show up at the National Prayer Breakfast, look, they're doing work here at Parliament. They need help, not just any help. But the next time you've got any opportunity to cry out in your distress, cry out first and foremost to God. Let him be your help through whatever means he provides. Okay, that's it. That's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. I got to get back to the U.S. See you tomorrow.